Kate Rogers takes a look at just how fast this segment is expected to grow. Robert Dorfman is a believer in the franchise model. I think it gives small business people like myself a great opportunity to leverage some brand equity, which is very difficult to create over a short period of time, and to use that brand identity to then take the kind of entrepreneurial spirit and control my own destiny. He's gearing up to open his second World of Beer location in Loudoun, Virginia this spring. Before that, he owned nearly three dozen Five Guys Burgers and Fries locations in seven states. Past success has Dorfman betting on a strong 2016. And he's not alone. The International Franchise Association is forecasting a sixth straight year of solid growth for the industry. Nationwide, the total number of franchise locations is estimated to grow to nearly 796,000, employing more than 9 million workers. Increased business spending and lower oil prices are expected to help the franchise industry's GDP grow to $552 billion. Despite his sunny outlook, Dorfman has concerns about how future regulations may impact his growth. Minimum wage and the Affordable Care Act are top of mind. In 2016, small businesses with as little as 50 or more full-time employees will have to offer those workers insurance or will face fines of up to $2,000 per worker per year for failing to comply. I am a strong proponent of providing all of my employees uh, making sure they're well compensated, that they have appropriate benefits, that they feel great about the environment in which they work. However, the Affordable Care Act is going to put a serious financial limitation on myself as a small business person. Also on the minds of franchisees, a pending case before the National Labor Relations Board against McDonald's on joint employer status. Industry advocates say if McDonald's loses and parent companies are held responsible for actions at their franchise locations, the industry's growth could come to a halt. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Kate Rogers.